Hello everyone, and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 5. So, in between episodes, I went to the Velvet Room, and I was looking at things to fuse. There was one really good one, but it got rid of Jack Frost, and I couldn't inherit the, uh, the, uh, the multi-targeted ice spell, so I didn't do it yet. I might in the future if I can get another one of those, but... Yeah, it's like, he was really good. He was only weak to one thing, but he was, like, strong against four other. But it seemed like he was a very slow physical fighter. I forget his name. <laughs> he had a hammer. Well, I think we're almost halfway through. I'm starting to get a faint sense of the treasure near here. Oh. That means we're at least making some progress, right? Hey, when do you want to come in next? Time? When we figure out how to get past that door. Which I'm assuming that's what tomorrow's stuff is going to be. supposed to get past that door I don't know you think there's some kind of off switch somewhere looks like this is where I come in yeah you say that every time Mona I have a suspicious place in mind remember this shack is the basis for Matarame's palace I actually scouted it out the last time we were here Okay. I mean, you did leave for a walk. I didn't so think you were scouting it out, though. You did see that door, though. Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. Yeah, that. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. It actually looked like the locks from the metaverse. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But... Don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Matarame's eyes. That seems dangerous, but okay. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Matarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that going to work? Trust me. There's no chance it won't open. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that you one was coming. Don't you, Joker? I mean, yeah, I sort of, I guess. It can't hurt the try, also. I can't hurt the try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Oh, I'm really good at picking locks. Uh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. In cat form? It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Matarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh. Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. So she's gonna pose nude for the guy? What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. <laughs> what? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, you probably were, actually, Morgana. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Matarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady Anne. This is way too sudden! Also kind of risky. I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! <laughs> worst that's gonna worst. burn, Mo Morgana. Get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, Actually, is that gonna work? Me much confidence in this plan. Wouldn't that like bring Matarame and uh, Yusuke into the palace with us if they're around? Like, don't we drag people around us into the palace if we use the app? That's how An got into the the palace the first time. Do I have to be the bait? You always have to be the bait. There's no other way. Good luck, On. Hmm. Good luck, On. Well, he didn't want any of us nude. It ain't what he wants. Yeah, that. Then make it so he does. <laughs> How? 
All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. <laughs> for justice. I'll Seriously, go naked for justice. You better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. How are you gonna pick the lock? Your cat. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. And rightfully so. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. <laughs> all right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? You know, the better. We kind of need to, right? I want to get back in the palace and finish I, it. Uh, will Kitagawa Kun agree? Of course, if you tell him you're gonna be naked. I don't know. Just say something like, "I really need it to be tomorrow." Oh, that's that a good one, Ryuji. Yeah. I really need to be naked in front of you tomorrow. Is that okay? And, like instantly replied, "Yes, it is." Okay. Leave this to me. I'll get it open right before his very eyes. You get in touch with Yusuke? Mm-hmm. He asked me to come by tomorrow. Oh, he asked you. You didn't even have to tell him. Aw, oh, yeah. He fell for it. Do I... Do I really have to do this? Just be careful. Strip for... No! It, it's the only way. Just be careful. Yeah. Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Madarani see it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna said they'll change his cognition. I don't get it. And one more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down. We'll be there to back you up ASAP. Okay, okay, got it. Now then. A palace is a reflection of how the owner views the real world. So if Madarami's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really need Lady Anna to strip for you, okay? It's the only way. <laughs> Does it just sleep? No? Oh, wait, no. Can I leave? Hey. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I can talk to you guys. Now listen up. Mm -hmm. Kind of figured like, oh, listen. Detective mm -hmm. Prince Aket Akichi? Hmm. Anything on the TV? I don't think I had a... I didn't have a chance last Sunday to look at the TV or purchase anything, which is kind of a shame, but... I guess that's just how it is sometimes. Ooh, bathroom. Dots. I should finish up. Oh, okay, nothing. Nothing really. That's kind of surprising. Yes, let's go to bed. I actually kind of want to get that hammer, dude, but I don't want to lose Jack Frost just yet because of the multi-target ice spell. And there's enemies in the place that are weak to ice, so. And sometimes they appear in groups of f three. Huh. <sighs> but he was really good. He was slow. But he was, like, strong. Though, to be fair, on you. like, uh, Alex doesn't have a very good weapon right now. So maybe it's not a bit. I don't know. Anyways, on Morgana, we're counting on you. Me and Alex is banned from going there, so all you can, we can do is wait here. No, you do have something different you'll need to do. What? What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once the door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door doesn't cl uh, can't close anymore after it opens. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. You can leave that to us. That's good. I wanted to go back to the palace. I thought we were making pretty good strides. I didn't think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it. What was that? Oh, no, it was nothing. By the way, have you gained some weight? Wow! <laughs> I'm bloated. 
promoted today. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that just a lot of clothes or like a bodysuit? So then, can you um get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? That's a lot of clothes. Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? How can you even move in that? <laughs> oh. Phew, that was tight. Tight? <laughs> no. I'm doing this for art. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei's coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? She wants to lock the door, Yusuke. She doesn't want a creepy old man seeing her naked. But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. Quiet down, on. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? <laughs> Don't you think it's cool today? <laughs> it's raining out. I suppose so? <laughs> the confused tone in his voice. I suppose so? The sun is starting to set. Right? And that's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. She's really hamming it in, huh? True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. Yeah, start she acting so happy. be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. Ooh, giving him even more ideas. That's probably not what An wants. Expressive ones, didn't you hear him? Lady on, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. She's not a good actor. Or actress, really. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Starting to feel bad for you, Skate. <laughs> Why not this one? She's gonna leave him a trail of clothes? Please wait! <laughs> I'm counting on you, Mona. This is a weird game. I like it. Are they seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. I mean, you'd be right, because she's really bad at it, but he seems like he's easily played. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of I like that, that even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's it gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. I think that's why we're here, though, so once it opens, we run in. And then we can find a way to keep it Doesn't open. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Uh, it'll definitely work. Let's just wait and see. Sounds almost impossible. Let's just wait and see. Yeah. So you don't always want to be time. too optimistic, but you don't always want to be, like, pessimistic either. Like, I'm kind of a realist in a lot of things, but... You don't always want to jump to the the worst impossible conclusion. You gotta have some hope, or else life gets really sad. <laughs> Please, uh, can you just wait and? What's past here? 
Man, how much clothes did she have on <laughs> there? She's almost out of clothes though, so we gotta gotta hurry up. I keep telling you, you can't. Oh, now he sounds worried. You're still not done. He's a cat. It's hard to do this with cat paws. It's almost impossible to do it with cat claws. It's like you don't have thumbs. Is something the matter? Oh, um. So, what is this room? Nice acting. It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage. I mean, it makes sense if, like, it would have a lock on it. You don't want anyone coming in, just breaking into your house easily, and then just opening the door and taking all your paintings. Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. I suppose I, I mean I think this was awkward in Japan Japanese as well, right? Only like she's just really bad there. at acting. Slash fake Please. flirting. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere like quiet. <laughs> you know where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy She that sounded kind of like Piper there from Fallout 4. I don't know why I made that connection. that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. I really feel bad for this guy. How is that working on him? Oh, it'd work on you too, Magana. Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no. We can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine. This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. <laughs> but... Yeah, you gotta pick up all your clothes. Let's just do it in here, okay? He doesn't have the key, he said. What do I do? I'm home. Uh, that's good. Sensei! Yusuke? Alright, it's open! Huh? <laughs> what are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. I mean, would he even understand if you told him that you were trying to get this girl naked and she came with a like a hundred pieces of clothes on and tried to lure you into this room? <laughs> Not in there. He's got to be really confused. I would be. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's. Hmm? All right, there we go. So we got to make it in there. There's no timer, right? Off. They seriously did it. Uh, they're amazing. Staring guard. What a surprise. They're amazing. Yeah, for real. Well, Morgana is amazing to be able to pick a lock with, with cat paws. An needs acting lessons, <laughs> but she did good too. Smart idea with a ton of clothes. Somewhere. Any gold or stand out-ish here? No, all right. I mean, I guess I could go. I probably actually Somewhere. wouldn't be able to go back and loot some all stuff. Right. Let's find the control room quick. This path is gonna close up if we dick around for too long. But it's just gonna be me and you for a bit if you run into any enemies. You good? Oh, let's kick some tail. Yeah, I'll be counting on you. I mean, I literally have access to all elements except for like the last four. Actually, is that true? Uh, fire, ice, lightning, ice, wind, double fang. Yeah, I need that. I need. You should be up front. I need to give you some experience. Oh, I can level this guy up and get the, the curse, but the, the holy one, I think that's holy. And that one looks like, it looks like a nuclear 
sign. Like, uh, what if it was a hazmat sign? Something. And I don't know what the one before that one is. It probably tells me in... I think it does tell me. I think we read a tutorial about those elements before. Anything in here? No, that guy's red, but he should be fine if I can get his, uh, his weaknesses. Just go here. Ooh. Damn it, already? Hey, what do you want to do? Uh, we have to beat it. Hey. Yeah. The real problem is the fact that we gotta handle this with just the two of us. Anyways, I'll leave the time to you, dude. I mean, he's very different looking. I guess we just have to go up there. Sorry. Okay. Yo, we're gonna you're gonna let us through right now. Huh? Who are you? I see that attire. You must be the thieves who dare to threaten Lord uh, Matarame. This mini boss time? Ooh. They got past the security system? Yeah, it was easy. You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. That's that's part of us being thieves. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. She can be scary. Ha. Skullcracker. What? Ooh, huh? That's not that bad, actually. Oh, is he stunned? Persona. That is, is actually bad. So, if I had a guess, you are weak to Come. probably not physical. Maybe fire? Maybe let's try win. Go down. No, you're not weak to that. Oh, you're confused. Wait. Didn't I put the anti-confuse thing on you? Persona. You're mine. Oh, crit! Oh, right. We can't do an all-out attack. Go down. Nice, nice, nice. Ryu! Why? You have a confused thing, though. Alright, let's heal him. I thought I gave him something that resists confusion. Did I not? Okay, he, he freaking got it. Great. Oh wait, did I give maybe I gave that to Alex. Not this. Why did I just auto attack like that? That was dumb. I'm probably able to finish him off though. Nice money, good experience. Level 14's all around. All right. Well not completely all around, but close enough. New skill. Adverse Resolve. Increases the chance of dealing critical hits when surrounded. Alright, cool. That's a lot of attack power. I'm gonna have to check this equipment. I thought I gave him... The Protect Mask. Uh, there's... Things are real tough when it's just me and you. It'd be a pain in the ass if we get spotted again. Anyways, let's turn off the security system. I will do that Takamaki-san. when we had a chance to. Are these the lights? <gasps> Ooh, why are there multiple ones? What the? Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? And also, I weren't no they idea. stolen? Didn't someone say they stole them earlier? Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, 
Some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Ah. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. So he's lying to us right now, right? As expectations for me rose, reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. He's definitely lying. Please, <laughs> don't. Hold on. Something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? It is the digital age, on. You can just Google a picture of it. I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. Is it not the so digital age? I thought it was the digital age. copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. Yeah? What would you know? Ooh, anger. Something just doesn't feel right. No more, no more, uh, no more nice old man. Lady on. This one seems different. You mean the thing that's standing out? Sayuri. This. This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. How, how do you know it's the real one? Why, they all look the same to me. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. He looks really nervous now. Understandable. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. Also, isn't he like grossly in debt, he was saying? <laughs> you're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. All right. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. I mean, you can just show him this room, right? Lady on, let's run! A cat! Where did it... Why didn't you just knock him over? He's old. He would have probably busted out a hip or something. There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. You don't know how far I can get away in two minutes, man. Takamaki-san. Okay, so where are we yeah, going? Let's go. Well, let's hurry up and get that shit shut off. I can feel it. I can feel it. So I'm probably over here, right? Dope. All right. Oh yeah, this is the room. So which one's for the security? I have something. The one glowing a little bit. The one that it's glowing brighter without freaking the third eye. Disengaging security protocols. Sweet. Now the lasers in the courtyard will go off good. That's mission complete. Let's get out of here. Alright. You don't want to go further in and find the last location of his treasure? Hey, who's there? Whoa. Crap. Let's make it a run for it. Oh, we turned it off. Right. All right, looks like the security is totally off. That took a while for it to activate it, though. Like, I would have imagined it would have happened instantaneously after we flipped the switch. You guys didn't run that far. Why are you out of breath? I hope those two managed to get away. No! 
Nice catch. Man, your knees and back must really hurt right now. <laughs> and neck now. You probably have a broken neck. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, will you let go already? Oh, jeez. And now I'm really starting to feel bad for this guy. Oh, no. I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up. Who are you all? Uh, calm down, Kitagawa-kun. It's me. I know I'm all of a sudden changing the bondage gears. Don't worry. I can somewhat explain. Kamaki-san. That means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. <laughs> what is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? I mean, no, but do you look at how we're dressed? If she ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! What do you mean rubbish? You just went through this with us. Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. Also, you just found out what he was doing, and that he has the real su Saru Yuri, whatever the hell her name is. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? That's not repulsive. I wouldn't say it's repulsive. It's kind of it's kind of pretty. I think, anyways. I like I like gold. I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks. One. Everything well, two. We've done two. Sensei, I know it doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... You all right? Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Is that why you almost puked? Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. Uh, hair, lead on my shoulder. No, it's all right. Are you sure? You're having a hard time from the looks of it. Yes. We need to hurry to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now, so let's avoid fighting as possible. Well, fighting as much as possible. I could just teleport to the beginning, yeah? And I think actually we did. <laughs> He doesn't look like he's doing. Oh, I need a heal. How could this be? So, if this is inside Sensei's heart. A vain museum such as this. Let's heal up real fast, just in case we get into another, uh, another battle. Party in a can? Party in a can. One more. Yeah, that should be good enough. I, I like the music. It's very sad. Oh, wait. Where are we? I thought we were actually going to go back to the beginning. Ugh. This painting. Do you recognize it? Were you thinking these might be his... We're thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are the paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actual paintings. They're the pupils themselves. <laughs> Matarami saw them as objects, so that's what they are in, in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours too. Dots. We'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Should we show him his painting? Because I feel like we should show him his painting. I have something. I would. I would like that. Let's try the stale stuff game. The exit is right there. <laughs> oh my god. I like the robe. What, what the? 
<laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. Oh, for us to keep Ryu, some kind you hurt of me. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? I mean, clearly. That attire. Disgusting. This. I kind of like it. This is all one kind of big bane. Lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> That's this absurd some setup you get. I'm almost impressed. I am almost impressed. Hmm. Such insincerity. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? Is that a peacock? His hair? Kind of. I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. That sounds like something no one would actually buy because it's... So, it's like clearly a lie. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. Yeah, but if you keep selling multiple copies, like, aren't people gonna realize I... Like, well, uh, like come forward, like I I bought this one. I, I f from like the black market. I got the real one now. And there's like a thousand people the same one of a kind picture. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. You know, money is important. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting. But museum. you shouldn't be a dick. You're supposed or a criminal. to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You help me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? Well, that's good. That means he has more people to buy stuff, or have buy from him. I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? I mean, <laughs> judging from your appearance, you're not going to be alive that much longer. To think I was under the care of this wretched man you thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart I mean why wouldn't he plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas after all it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back dark I can't believe this Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. Really dark. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you. So... You repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? Well, dude, you aren't getting much of a choice. Men, dispose of these thieves. Get back! I, I mean, yeah, hide. We can deal with it. How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. 
I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Anime time? Or is it uh, awakening time? Yeah. How foolish to you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable limitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou. Thou art I. Oh. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. That would hurt. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on. Isn't that a Digimon? Oh my god. A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish. Dope, I like it. This is impressive. Who do you think you are? I am. The for your insolence will be dead. Where are my guards? Kill them all. All right. The Boss time? Who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! Ah, uh, you got this. You better not run away. Let's see what you're made of. You got this? I am ready! Oh, that's the guy I want! Oh, those guys I can actually make too. Yeah, I can make that guy with the hammer. In the presence of Lord Marwame. Oh, fuck! He was weak to one thing. What was it? On your knees, intruders! Wow, kinky. I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. All right, so what do we got? You got ice spells. Was it ice he was weak to? No, what about the birds? Ow. Evasion up. Oh, that's not good. You're just all gonna do that? Okay. My Fuba, see if the birds are weak to ice. I'm assuming yes. Okay. We're gonna do that again. Then I'm gonna hit him with a multi targeting fire spell, and never mind. We'll do lightning. He was strong against physical, I think. Maybe not. He's resistant to that. Let's try physical. No, he's not strong against that. Sledgehammer? Oh, I need to heal you. Let's go. Uh, we tried lightning, yes? Wind? He, uh, it's also possible that he has different stats compared to the one that I can make. That isn't completely true. I'm gonna get this guy up because I want him to get his double bang. Then we headbutt him. Oh wait, he's resistant against that. God damn it! Giant slice. Ooh, that one was good. Ow. Ooh. Oh, he's on fire! Okay, that's not enough to level up uh, the dude, but that's fine. I could probably make him again and be able to get a level up. Maybe? I don't know, actually. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. Technically you did, because you already reported him to your security company. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame. 
You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. I like his lipstick. Get back here. Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. No, it's all right, man. This happens. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? I mean, if you wanted it to change, it's probably a good idea to admit that. Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but... She died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. Well, you were three, so that's understandable. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori. The very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply... Well, you actually kind of threw a conniption when, <laughs> when we talk, asked you about it. No worries, I understand. Um, yeah, no worries. Thank you. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. I mean, it's kind of a serious situation, Ryu. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. And you're probably failing because of that. For real. What are you going to do now? Well, to be fair, I, I ain't much better on the grade front, probably. I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? That sounds way darker than what we actually do, though. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, all right, guys. How's it going? We'll talk later. We need to scrap. Oh, I could probably take them. Use game, maybe not. <laughs> you just noticed that now. Save it for after. Let's go. I mean, to be fair, On didn't notice that first either. I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. The phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. I mean, we are a new thing, so... We're right in front of you. Is it hard to believe? Yeah, we're right in front of you. It is hard to believe. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame-sensei with Madarame is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Well, you do have the persona, so... Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was... In some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. 
Yeah, and we need a nice user that isn't just Alex. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. Whoa. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. And he seems fine. Oh, that, uh, nice. that, that physical attack he did seem pretty strong. Welcome aboard. Just don't betray us. And no new paintings. Now, let's go with this one. And no new paintings. Uh, so that was all a plan. Oh, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. It wasn't my idea. It was theirs. Yeah, but you went wrong with it, and it worked. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. <laughs> I haven't given up on that yet, though. Hmm. Give it up! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. <laughs> However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. You mean everyone? Does he even know the two of us? Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. Maybe. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. So that's still the deadline then. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? Well, you don't have to be naked anymore. We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. Yeah, that was the deadline. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. <laughs> but it's talking. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Part of the side effect of getting Persona is you go absolutely crazy and you start hearing cats talk. You have a problem with that? No, not really. <laughs> Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. Black bean jelly, what is that? I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Maybe. Oh. I didn't bring any money. Guess we're paying then. Never mind. He's just weird. <laughs> oh, looks like another long episode. Just noticed that was like 53 minutes. Not surprising, really. I hope you aren't up to any good. Or no good. Don't get you still under probation, you got that? One misstep and you're finished. I know. Thanks for the reminder. No good. No, no, What's wrong no. with changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. Legal action? This isn't funny. That sounds problematic. If the police hear about this, they'll totally get in touch with the school. But we'll get expelled for sure this time. School will be the least of our worries. We'll end up in a, a arrested unlawful entry defamation. Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, but from here on out, uh, from here on out, it's what really matters. Let's do it. Hey. We just need to change his heart before the, he presses charges. Time to focus on that before problem now. But we got 17, left, uh, 17 days left to do it, so yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.